And so it's very important to understand as a Dene, we cannot be racist against your own family member because of a clan system. You're related to every person probably in this planet Earth. Then <laughs> In the traditional teaching of our Dene, we have a, uh, a lot of information in that that is uh, being neglected as far as our informing our younger people and the uh, younger generation. We have teachings about the clan system. This is to, to teach our younger people that it is important to know your clan. It is important to know your clan history. It is important to know your identity to the clan system. But uh, the other thing that we need to have our young people understand is because of the clan system and that, whenever anyone in any clan group marries into a non dene or any people of the world, uh, French, German, English, Italian, um, some Middle Eastern people, or even the uh, Korean, Japanese, Chinese, or even Vietnamese. These people become related to all of us because of the clan system. Chin is what they say. And so it's very important to understand that if we cannot have a, a thing that we have so many people speaking of, which is said to be racism. There is no such thing as being racist in, among our people. I remember the, uh, talking to my grandchildren. One of them is uh, a little older than all of, of the rest of the grandchildren, and he's had experience out in the world. And he's the one that kind of put it very plainly. He says, I, I have not experienced racism, is what he tells me. He says, there are good people and there are bad people. And uh, some people are just uh, crappy people, is what he told me which to me would mean these are not decent people, these are not good people, and you have that in all groups of people throughout the world. But it is that the majority of the people are very tolerant of other people. Some of my uh, relatives and that, uh, my male relatives, uncles, and that, that served in the military, they understood, you know, that uh, people of all races and that, of all colors and that, that they served with, they could not understand why there would be any type of racism and they understood that these people were like brothers to them. They didn't see any color in their skin. They understood them as human beings, as a people. And uh, they took care of the, each other. And uh, some of them were involved in combat situations during World War II. And so they always said, you know, we can't accept the idea that we should not include these people as friends. They are friends. Dear friends, we cannot judge other people as a whole group of people because of one person's uh, attitude or behavior toward other people. We can't do that. And so I always encourage our own young people, don't hate people because of one person's uh, intolerance. That's not right. There are good people and there are bad people. And so we have to also look back on our own history and our first contact with the Europeans. I think that people need to understand what happened in to the south on this continent, and what is now South America. Less than 300 Spaniards conquered six million people down in that part of the, the world, or the continent. And they 
killed off all of the leaders. But later on, it became uh, some type of an acceptable thing to recognize that all these people were interested in were the wealth and the gold. And so they made up the story about the seven cities of gold up into this part of the continent in North America. And that led the people that had done the conquering down there and made them come up into this part of the continent. And so you have a, a bunch of Spanish expeditions, Cortez, Coronado, Perez, and all these people. They weren't coming up into this part of the country to help people. They were up in this part of the country looking for the seven cities of gold. Some of them came up the Rio Grande, some of them came up the Colorado River. And the one that came up the Colorado River, of course, I think is uh, the one, that, the uh, Perez expedition. And uh, he came up by way of what is present-day Flagstaff area or near uh, one of our sacred mountains, Mount uh, Humphreys. But uh, one of his scouts went uh, west of the mountain there. He went off into the uh, pinyon pine and off into the juniper uh, and the scrub oak. And then eventually he came across the uh, Pinero Ponderosa pines. And then all of a sudden there was a big drop off and he couldn't go no further. So he reported back to Perez. He said, we can't go that way because there are a great big canyon that is about maybe five and ten miles across. And so he gets credit for discovering the Grand Canyon while the native people all knew that the canyon was there all along. But that same expedition and that, of course, went uh, east and they encountered the uh, Zuni Pueblos. And when they encountered the Zuni Pueblos, one day they were there. The next day they killed over 300 men, women, and children. And some of those uh, Zuni people at that particular time, sometime around 1540, 1550, they escaped and ran as refugees. And they came in contact with my great, 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 great grandfather. And he took them in. And eventually they married into the Navajo families or the different clan groups. And uh, from there we get the people that we refer to as Nashtejitane, which is the Zuni clan among our people. Later on, when our people uh, try to discourage the Spanish, uh, the Spaniard settlements, they would carry off the women and children. And those the people were adopted. Those were the Spaniard people that became adopted by the Dene. Eventually they married into the various clans. And that's where we get the Spaniard clan, which we call Nakai Dene. Later on, the history is that when the country to the south became Mexico, we get people that are called Mexican. This is the um, Spaniards and they're mixing one with the other groups of people that we call native people in the area and they became that mixed blood and those were the ones that we call Mexican and uh, had a language of our people we call them now and that is uh, today when we have a clan that is originally the Spaniard clan today in great era our people are calling a Mexican clan there is a Mexican clan there is a Spaniard clan and we have to be able to understand that it is a part of a history of our people. And so that was the first encounter with the Spaniards and the Europeans. And since then, of course, we've got English, German, French, Italian, and all of the other groups of people that came from Europe and the Middle East and other parts of the world. In fact, uh, we have people that uh, married black people, uh, Japanese people, and even uh, the Vietnamese people. We have a tribal president that is descendant. And so that makes us related to all of the Vietnamese people, all of the Japanese people, all of the German people, all of the English people and the Swedish and all of the Norwegian people of the world and Middle Eastern people as well. And so we are related to everyone because of the way the clan system operates among our people. is what they would tell us. But to get that the chain is what they would tell us. And so it's very important to understand as a Dene, we cannot be racist against your own family member because of the clan system. That is very wrong. There are some good people and there are some, as in the words of my grandson, crappy people. And you encounter those type of people. They are not tolerant. They are just not good people. They are not decent people. And they don't know any better. And so you have to avoid those kind of people. And always remember, you're related to every person probably in this, on this planet Earth. And it is that uh, those are the things that our old people stress. We call them our relative in some way. 
for all people, our, our relatives. And the other thing is so very important is that our people, our Dene, have married into all of the other different Native American tribes on this continent. And so it is very important to understand we are all related as the Dene to all of the other Native American people or the American Indians are all related. And those are the things that we are told. <laughs> Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you like what you see, don't forget to uh, subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss one of our uploads. Also, head over to our website, NavajoTraditionalTeachings.com. Sign up for our email list. I can't.